Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with my Inspired Bible. Um, this is the Bible journaling for um, the um, War Room. And I'm so sorry I was out of pocket. Um, I ended up having a bit of a stomach bug. And um, it's Monday morning now, so I'm just not getting this film. So I, I apologize. Um, I thank you guys for being patient with me. Um, I think it's just something going around because my husband got it too. And yeah, I'm just thankful that our daughter didn't. So yeah. All right, let's pray and we'll get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so, so much for today. Thank you for healing. For those right now, I received word that, oh, five people right now are sick and seriously ill. And we ask God that you would heal their bodies. Lord, we also ask you to continue healing our dear, sweet friend, Deborah, part of the channel as her bones are trying to mend, and it's such a slow, slow, painful process, and we ask you, God, to bless her. Lord, we thank you so much for everyone here, and we ask, God, that whatever we read, that you would teach our hearts, that what we would do would be pleasing to you, and that we can learn everything that you have for us, and that we're to then turn around and bless the next person. Lord, we love you. We praise you. We we just give this time to you, God. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Okay, guys. So, I am back in Micah 6, 8. I also, this, um, I had ordered a while back from um, Amazon, and I had it in my stack to share, and I just never got to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and officially bust it open. And these are just um, Faber-Castile, or Faber-Castile, I've heard it said, I think mainly Faber-Castile, but anyways. Um, these are highlighting metallic markers. I know. Yeah, I know. Whoops, I missed one. Oh, let me get that one out. So I'm super excited. Um, now, when you do Bible journaling, you can color code it. You can do whatever you want. And I've done a lot of that, um, mainly because I've been blessed to be in a lot of precepts and started learning, you know, certain things for certain, you know, subjects and whatnot. And so, um, but today, I'm not even going to think about that. I just want to enjoy this time right now. And I am still without a light behind me. And my chair makes a lot of noise. I didn't, I never remembered that. So when we brought it in here, we put it in this corner. It's okay for my quiet times. I don't know how good it'll be for y'all, but please forgive me. It's it's an Amish rocker. Um, it's a glider. So, you know, anyways, it's weird. I'm very blessed. Um, my husband bought it for me. Um, when he was in, um, grad school and it kind of a long story behind that, but, um, we kind of lost everything. Um, it was, my husband was, um, laid off and that was our, was that our second or our third layoff? It may have been our second at that point. Um, we've been through a total of, I think three or four now. I quit counting anyways. And, um, we were out of state. We were in New England and I was just like, how are we going to get home? We still had a house in San Antonio that we were um, leasing out and just so much was happening so fast. And um, the amazing thing in all that is God provides. He really does. And so my husband took on some work. I was working. Um, I was selling creative memories and teaching scrapbooking and still full-time homeschooling and all of that. And I was also cleaning houses to help pay for my children to go to certain activities that they'd always gone to. And um, we relied upon his income for food and electricity and stuff like that. And uh, my parents graciously allowed us to live in their townhouse or condo. And we were able to um, work and help them and then work and help in other ways as well, you know, in the community and earn just literally bit by bit. And we were so blessed. So, um, at some point, I think when my husband finally, got, he, you know, he found a full-time job at a certain point and then went to school at night and still graduated in less than two years. Crazy man. And, um, so he bought me this Amish rocker and he was like, no, because everything we had was from the thrift store or had been moved and had been just destroyed in all the moves and all of our moves in our lives. And, um, and we had been, we had moved an insane amount of times for our years of marriage and, um, anyways, and we had to leave things because there just wasn't space to bring it back. So, um, any, any, anyhow, he saw the Amish rocker, 
um, and just said, I'm going to get this for you. And I was like, no, 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 we can't afford that. And what it really is, is a glider and it's just beautifully made. And there was a place in the hill country um, in Fredericksburg, Texas, that God blessed us. And um, we got to know the owners. Um, and so we special ordered this rocker and just been blessed. The only thing I wish we would have done was ordered the footstool because I was so cheap. I was like, no, 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 I don't need that. Well, now as time has gone on, my knees are so bad. I do need that, but I have a very inexpensive footstool right there that everybody wants to take. And it was an inexpensive one. I think I got it at Walmart and it's a pleather one. And, um, I mean, it's, you know, the chair has burgundy leather and that has like Navy pleather. And, it just cracks me up how everybody wants that stool. Everybody wants that stool. My daughter wants it in a room. My husband wants it when he sits at the chair. I want it when I sit in this chair. It's just hilarious. So, um, and that thing is probably almost 20 years old. So, yeah, it's over 20 years old, actually. Anyways, it just kind of cracks me up that the most simple things are the things that we want. You know what I mean? So, all right. So, that kind of takes us right into this um, scripture. And it is such an important one. I did not get any of the postings on the website and I apologize again, a little under the weather. So um, I will hopefully get that done in the next few days. We are going tomorrow to go spend the night and take care of our granddaughters. And um, and it's our um, daughter's birthday. So that'll be fun too. It wasn't, it was just a very happenstance that happened. What a blessing. And um Anyway, so long story short, um, I'll be out of, um, today I'm going to mainly video the regular things I have to do for my work, and then I will do the other, the the Bible, and I'm hoping while I'm there, I can upload on the um, website, but let's get real. I got a two-year-old granddaughter and a newborn. I don't think I'm even going to get that computer open. I'm going to be honest, so it may not be till Thursday. We go out Tuesday, we come back Wednesday night, so... Um, hopefully Thursday, if we're not too tired, I'll get back in the groove. And of course, we'll do War Room and then hopefully all this. So, okay, friends, so I'll owe you a lot on the website, but let's talk about this. So the first thing is Micah 6, 8, and it says, No, O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you. This is the part that we really want to focus on, to do what is right or do justly, to love mercy and walk humbly with your God. And I just love that. And there is a wonderful song Stephen Curtis Chapman sings, and I just love it. And it's such an important thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little note card that I was using as a bookmark that I kind of beat the tar out of it when I put it in my, um, in the little binder for this. And I'm doing a terrible job. So I'm just going to, Quit making it hard and do it easy. So um, I want to underline all this in kind of this bluish color. It's supposed to be metallic. I don't know on this paper. Number one, will it bleed through? Yeah, a little bit. And then um, if it's going to dry with metallic sheen, we'll see. But this may not be the best. So I'm putting this in gold right here because this is golden, my friends. This is what it's about. This is what we're to do. We're to do justly. Love mercy, walk humbly with your God. And if you think, I can't remember that, you will when you hear the song. I promise. I promise. So, um, I was going to color this with this. This is what I brought in here to work with. And I just don't know. I think I'm kind of, I think I'm going to skip that because I'm kind of concerned with this. And I also got over here without my, oh no, I've got it here. Hold on. Uh, I, I spent some time setting up my war room and I put a picture out that kind of showed it not together. It was kind of a mess. And so I don't want you guys to think that war rooms are always perfect. You know, excuse me, I'm probably getting a big shot of my hair, which is in a conditioning pack right now. So excuse me. Um, but, um, it, it was in the process of being set up and I had been filming. So I want everybody to get real with your war room. It's not going to always be perfect. Oh, hold on, guys. There you go. Everything just fell. There you go. It's not going to be perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh, you got to laugh at that. Seriously. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, there we go. We got everything. <laughs> Sorry. 
sorry. I just laugh at those things because if not, you just cry, you know. <laughs> Goodness gracious. You think you got it together and you don't. <gasps> Look what I found. I am going to do blue. See how wonderful. When we set our stuff up. We've got resources. Okay. So, and I've got some washi in here. Whoops. Hold on. I'm trying to stop it off from falling. Um, it was not perfectly set up. I set it up to kind of meet my needs and I did not think it through. So, um, you know, you try, you try, what can I say? You try and then, oh, well, okay. So let's go ahead. Let me do a real little test here and let's see if that's going to bleed through. Probably. Ah, uh, you can still see it, but it's not as bad. So what I think I'm going to do is just kind of go like this. And it's just to kind of give a little texture behind um, what I'm going to put down. And the reason why I was thinking I wanted to use that blue was it's such a gray day today. I don't know what your days are like right now. We had an absolutely glorious day Saturday. And today, yeah, it just was. And yesterday it started with gray and cold. And, or not cold, but cool. And, um, yeah, and my, uh, today it's damp and rainy and cold. So kind of a Winnie the Pooh blustery day. And hold on one sec. I got an alarm going off. My apologies. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's a good day and we just kind of have to see it for what it is. You know, there are days we want it to be just perfect. And some days you just don't get to have that. You know, you get to just be present. And I pulled some things that, um, it's cold today and you can see those colors match beautifully. And I mean, it was looking at, we don't have snow, but I was thinking about when we did have snow and how pretty it was. Um, it was hard on our state, no doubt. And we lost too many people, but it just was what it was. And, um, it was just so sad that's really what it was but we are at a point now that everybody's moving on here and we are just trying to make the best of it <coughs> pardon me so i love that and i am here we are bible journal i didn't bring my my glue or my tape runner hold on guys i am gonna just grab it it's right over there and excuse me i really have been up and doing a lot today <laughs> Just not 100% ready. Over here, silly me. Oh, goodness gracious sakes alive. Okay, I'm not long. Hang with me. Hang with me. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I've got a glue stick, and that's what it's going to be right now. All right, I've got my scissors. I didn't have that over here, so that worked out good. And I, whoops, that chair, can you hear that? I oh, know, sorry. <laughs> kind of a bit, but I found a glue stick, and let's pray that I didn't even check it, so let's hope it's a good one. Oh, looks like it's brand new. I haven't used it, so I think I'm just going to lift up the bottom and then kind of come back, and another thing I could have done, and I'm, I think I'm going to add it, is I think I'm going to put this down too, and mainly because I just need a place to write. Um, we had some things kind of happen this weekend. Some were wonderful. Some weren't. And I just want to kind of refocus today. And I, I, I spent yesterday um, really thinking through what did I need to be focused on? And um, what did God want me to do? Because, you know, let's get real. Sometimes you go through stuff and you just think, wow, this can't be what your will is. It just can't be. You know, God please. <laughs> it just can't be. And sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. And, um, but if our focus is to do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with our God, there are going to be days like that. And it is really hard for me to say that to you because I feel like we've gone through almost two years of those days. And Saturday was a really good day. And it was a glimpse of, you know, of things, how maybe they used to kind of be. And then um, yesterday was not, and it was harsh, and it was hard, and it was all those things. And so, see, my, my thing had been bent there, and if I just put a little bit of washi there, you don't know. 
<laughs> you don't know. So, and I think I want to tear that so it'll have more of that kind of torn look. And anyway, so, you know, as we go through these things in life, I mean, it humbles me to have to say, man, it did not turn out the way I wanted it to this weekend. But it pleases me to say that God hears our prayers. And whether I have a quick answer or it's not a quick answer, I can tell you this. Um, I have faith in God. And I know that, you know, it may never get back to the way it was. And I'm, a, I'm not going to say I'm okay with that yet. I'm not. Because I, I, I'm clearly not okay with that. Um, I want the life that we had before. And I just don't think it may happen. There's something that got caught on that. Okay. And, and again, you know, I mean, I love the Lord. I know he's got a plan. I'm just going to kind of piece that together a little bit. Um, but it doesn't make it easy. It just makes it what it is. And sometimes that's just simple faith. That's all we can do. All right. So here is this. I've got the cold. Let's see. I think I'm going to put this up here because it is definitely a blustery day. And then I'm going to kind of, whoops, go down here. So I've got my cold. And then I think I'm going to go with my three trees and then my birdie right here. And then I've got some snowflakes. I think I'm going to put here. Okay. So I've got to plan. <laughs> That's always good, right? But sometimes we get to know the plans. Sometimes we don't. You know, that's just the way it works. And, you know, part of us having a living faith, you know, a walking faith, um, we just have to trust God. And I am not in any way going to say that I have this down, that I thought I, I thought I was, you know, Thought it was all good. Thought we were there. Had faith. You know, even in the loss of my parents, I had faith. Um, I just never dreamt that we would have the last two years we did. And and I can't get into it because I there are people involved that I can't I can't talk about it. But I can tell you this: that I know that God is in control. I know that He has a plan for this, and that I just have to have faith and know that He will take care of it. And yeah. And I know for some people, and I'm going to be honest, there are people who see that as a crock, <laughs> who see that as Pollyanna, who see that as whatever. But I believe that Jesus is Messiah, that he is the son of God. And that as we go through this walk, um, there are going to be things that will completely humble us. No doubt. There will be things that will happen that we have no clue why we're going through it. Can't even imagine. But there are times where I know that my, our God reigns. And that's that. You know? And we just have to have faith. Okay. So I'm set. Now I'm, I've got it decorated. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to write. And um, so if you are a person and you're sitting there going, I can't draw. I can't this. I can't that. I don't have anything. I don't have any money to spend. These were inexpensive ephemera off of Amazon. Yes, that's just all it was. And I will try to put some kind of a link on the website so you can see it. Um, washi was something I had in my stash. Oops, I gotta glue that down. Um, and that's that. So um, don't go crazy. Don't break the bank. You can go to the Dollar Gen or Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Seriously, I was at both yesterday and I bought some stickers and I'll show that in a haul. But the Dollar General stickers were cheaper. I know. I know. <coughs> because the excuse me. The Dollar Tree got away with, you know, they ended their dollar items. You know what I mean? They went to like a dollar, is it dollar twenty nine, dollar twenty five, something like that. So all right. So now what I would do is in my private time. I would just sit and come back and write. And um, so I am going to put out here, I want to put, um, do justly. 
love, mercy. And then I'm going to put um, walk humbly. And that is my takeaway. That is what I'm told to do. That is what you're told to do as believers. So today is um, 1 24 22. And then I will come back and I will write for my private time, my quiet time. Okay, so the next thing I wanted us to do together was Matthew 6. So we're talking about the Lord's Prayer, and that is right there. So I think what I'm going to do for this one is I am going to do a similar thing with washi at the top, but I want something different, and I have different colors for this one picked out. So... Okay, wrong washi. Oh, I had tape runner in there. Well, I was kind of... This is all new. So I have no clue where anything is. I have to be honest. <laughs> it's all new. I just set this up. I mean, it's old stuff, but with, you know, a new setup. So, um, I'm, and you're going to ask me, what did you set up with? I just went and bought simple plastic bank boxes with the top that has the organizational thing in it. And then I set everything up inside and I've got two. So, um, okay, I've got my scissors, and let's go. So I am going to use this gorgeous washi, and I think it's so pretty. So I think I'm going to put it down here so I can hide where it got beat up when I put it inside. It's kind of got one of those, you know, covers for it. And I just wasn't thinking. So I'm going to have to really think now because um, as I begin to journal I'll have more and more tabs and things sticking out so which is fine because then I'll convert that to some kind of a box that'll hold goodies <laughs> it'll hold my stash oh goodness so okay I'm going to get this done and then we're going to go through the scripture and then we're going to talk about how to move forward okay so um I hope you guys are one thing I forgot to say about war room is make sure um, that you are writing the characters out and at this point in the in the study name one character trait that you that you see you know something that you've noticed okay so and this this particular scripture um i think i'm just going to underline it and hold on one second so now i also have a big stash of these these also came from Amazon, so I'm going to pull those out. I'm trying to remember if they're stickers or not. Let me see. Oh, they are! Yay! Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it like that, but I will do that in a minute. First, I want us to read the scripture. So it says, "Our Father in heaven, may your name be kept holy. May your will be done on earth. What may your kingdom come soon? May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven." Give us today the food we need and forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And don't, and don't let us yield to temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. So um, as we look at this scripture, there's a couple of things that kind of come to mind for me. Not for you, but just for me as I'm thinking about this. Um, you know, focusing on God and focusing on his will on this earth. That's one thing. And it's funny because one of the things here says, um, give us this day, and, and I'm doing it from memory, give us this day our daily bread. Where is it? Give us today the food we need. So we've just come out of this season of, oh, you know, is there going to be enough food to feed my family? Am I going to be able to access it? You know, things like that. And I really struggled with that because, you know, when everything shut down, we had been vegetarians for over seven years. Vegetarian, vegan. I had been vegan. And I literally remember after a month eating wilted lettuce. We didn't have anything. We couldn't get any groceries. We were sick. We couldn't go out. Um, I wouldn't dare impose on our children because I didn't want them to go out. Or our son and daughter-in-law, the closest. And I just want you to know that God met our needs. He completely met our needs. And it was just one of those things that um, if we understand the Lord's Prayer, 
and we seek his will and we seek his guidance and we seek his provision in our life, then how can our needs not be met? I mean, have you thought about that? I mean, I, I think about that a lot. Like, how can my needs not be met? You know, God is God. I mean, he knows the, the, how many feathers are on a sparrow or, you know, how many, um, you know, ants are in a pile and everything. I mean, he knows how many hairs I have on my head and, you know, my poor sad hair, but he knows he created us. He create, he is the creator, right? And so when we get in these situations and we focus on him and we focus on his desire for our lives, he's here in this prayer telling us, I love you. Jesus is telling us how much God loves us. He's specifically outlining how we are to pray to him that, you know, we acknowledge who he is. So for the first part, we acknowledge him. We're acknowledging God, okay, as God. And may your name be kept holy. Holy name, okay? The next thing is may your kingdom come soon. Return, Jesus. I mean, this is just what I'm seeing, okay? You're going to have your own. And you write how this, this strikes you as you read the word. May your will be done on this earth. And it's all about God's will. God's will be done. Okay? As it is in heaven. Because who's running in heaven? We don't have a will in heaven. It's God's. It's his kingdom. It's his, it's his residence, so to speak. That we are going to be blessed as believers to get to be with him one day in that most incredible place of worship. Okay. Now, um, and this is his home. As it is in heaven, his home. God's home. Okay. Looks like hone. Let me fix that. <laughs> okay. Give us today the food we need. Please provide the basics. Right? Isn't that what we're asking? Two years ago when we didn't have food and I didn't have a backstash and all of that. It was about God, please provide the basics. You know, and that's where I think I just want to go back to that. You know, and it may not be that for you. Um, But it may be, and maybe you want to simplify. I don't know. And that's how I feel right now. Um, please provide our basic needs. And and I'm literally, I cleaned up my pantry last week. Nearly killed myself, but we got it done with my daughter's help. Um, I've got a shelf in there of all the things I dehydrated and anything that I purchased that was something that I would use, like in a tea or in a, you know, whatever. That shelf has got to be cleaned out. I've got all of my canning shelves downstairs that I've got to inventory. And I would love to bring them up and add them to that shelf, but I don't know that I can. But we're thinking things through, you know, and I've got to start my seeds. So I want to put those in the window. And you know how you do. You're just like, wow, this is a working farm. The house works. You, you want it to look pretty and special and all those things, but sometimes it just doesn't get to. Sometimes it's a working place. But it's basic needs. Basic needs. That's what we've been given. And for me, that's all I want to have met. That I may serve him well. Meet my needs that I may serve him well. And that's Jesus. So, all right, let's keep going. And then, um, forgive us our sins. And that is just truly repentance. So, you know what repentance is, right? You're going down a road, you realize you're sinning, and you literally ask God to forgive you, and you do a 180, and you go back the other way. You don't stay on that path. You don't go back to that path. You don't resort to that path. You don't justify the sin. And I mean, I'm going to tell you, I my greatest sin is chocolate. It's okay in moderation. When you get too much, then, you know, then you have some issues. And... um. It doesn't matter what it is. 
It could be too much time watching TV. It could be too much time sitting on a phone. It could be whatever. You know, it could be um, listening to gossip, talking about things maybe we shouldn't have, you know, things like that. And we're all sin- we're all guilty of that. Um, there are very few people I know who don't have something that they struggle with. It is where we learn to walk humbly. In the previous verse, do justly, love mercy. Thank you, God, for your mercy. And walk humbly with your God. Okay. So repentance. Per- repentance of our sin. Of my sin. Okay. Now, and let us yield not to temptation. Oh, oh, pardon me. As we for- have forgiven those who sin against us. And it's flat out. Forgive. To me, learn lesson. Move on. Let's just stop right now and talk about that. One second. For those of you in the war room, uh, Bible study, uh, if you're watching this, um, we're talking about a situation where there's a husband in this particular storyline and even a wife who initially aren't walking very closely with the Lord. Um, she is. It's brought to her attention. She sees the mess within her household and she turns to God. And she prays and she reads and she gives scripture um, to each person that she's praying over. And yeah, and so she develops a war room, which is where I am right now in my war room. And it's not even a room. It's a corner in a room. But it's a place where I can look across, not be distracted. Um, I can look out the window, see God's creation. And, you know, not a lot because I have to look back to do it like that. But it's it's a spot in the room that is my quiet time place. And I literally had to tell my husband, he had a 1030 meeting. I said, I'm going to need you to step out because i got to get some stuff done, if you don't mind. And when I say step out, he can walk to his office uh, just right next door on our property. I mean, there's not a whole lot. and um, But it gives me time to be alone. And I haven't really set firm boundaries on that um, because we've gone through a lot. And there have been a lot of reasons not to. And there have been a lot of reasons that when I did it, I was clearly, I was struggling in my flesh. I really was. Um, I was praying, but I couldn't figure out why I couldn't hear God. Well, I was giving God the worn out side of me. So instead of getting up, reading and praying, I was getting frustrated. And um, so now I'm trying to, I'm trying, I was going this way and I'm trying to turn that around. Okay. And we've all been there. And, um, you know, it, it is about forgiving those who have failed us and sinned, you know, have sinned against us. That happens. But as much as we forgive them, God forgives, I mean, you know, praise God, he's God and he forgives us differently. But could you imagine if God forgave you as much as you forgive others? I know is so humbling on that statement. But think about that. Just think about that. Okay. And don't, let's see, and don't let us yield to temptation. Keep us from evil. Please, God. I'm going to put evil, and I have seen a lot of evil. (laughs) I'm going to be honest. People that lived in so much sin that they were just genuinely evil in their intent. Um, heartbreaking, sad. Um, unfortunately, they were allowed to do that most of their adult life. That by the time they came to the closer to the end of their life, um, the destruction was huge. The things that were said were just palatable in a very bad way, and that is not God's will for us as Christians. It is not His will for us to live in that, and we must forgive them. And we must ask him to put his hedge of protection around us, to put his angels around us, our family, our homes, whatever it is that we know is being attacked. Because that's what Satan wants to do. He just wants to cut you off at the knees. And if we just keep our focus on Jesus and we just keep looking towards him, he's going to provide a way. He is. He's going to provide a way. All right, let's keep going. Pardon me. But rescue us from the evil one. Do you feel like being rescued lately? (laughs) 
And I say it with a chuckle because that is way, way, way what I have felt like. And I'm just going to put amen. Amen. Please, God, rescue us. Please, God, rescue us from the evil one. Um, you know, I pulled stickers like, don't worry, be happy, be happy. Um, I love this sunflower with the music. I also love this sunflower with the, um, the ball canning, canning ball. So I think I'm going to go there because I love music. Um, today in the car, and I pulled other things, you know, today is your day, God's day. And I thought about that. Um, more flowers, you know, keep, uh, be yourself, keep life simple, be kind. Um, more flowers. Ooh, I love that better. I think I'm going to go with that. Um, and then smile, blessed. Um, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay, my friends. I promise you. God has it. <clears throat> Pardon me. He's got it. He's got you in his hands. He's going to take care of you. Okay, um, take it easy. Um, good things take time. Isn't that true? I think that is going to trump that. Then we got to have faith. Maybe that's what I'll put there instead of this. I love music. I love Christian music. Um, life is good. Blessed. I go to seek a great, and I was going to put God, and then do something and cover perhaps. <laughs> So sometimes you get these stickers, these um, ephemera, and it made me think, oh, how can I use that? That just doesn't make sense. Well, you just got to kind of get a little creative. You can get, use your scissors, cut it up. You can do all kinds of things. So I think what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to put God, uh, good things take time. You know what? I don't care if it's crooked. That's totally fine. Okay. And I love this faith. Trying to decide if I want to put it here or here. Whew. Everything will be okay. I love that. I think I'm going to take, well, no, that's a great reminder. It's going to be okay. Don't worry about tomorrow. Okay, Faith, I'm going to see what I'm going to do with that. Hold on. It's going to be okay. Doesn't that totally fit? Matthew 6, 34. We're not even on that scripture, and here you go. Just another reminder. Don't worry about tomorrow. So I think I'm going to do this. It's going to be okay. All right. I think that's going to be my tab. And then I'm just going to come back here and put this right back down. Yeah. And then I will trim that when I get through with you guys. And that will be my marker for today. And then let me see if Faith is going to be across here. I think that's going to be, nope, let me see here, guys, sorry, oh, I do like that, I do like that, so that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do over there, but I'll also show you, if you don't want to, have to try to, you know, re it, you can just peel it up, you know, and go down like that, which, for the sake of time, I'm going to do it, all right, guys, so, I still have room to write. I still have, I've written what the scripture meant to me. I've, I've personalized it, literally, and written down everything that I wanted to write down for me in this scripture. Um, I still have room here, and today is 1-24-22. Um, I'm going to come back and trim that, that God loves you enough that he gave you his son and his son taught us the most incredible prayer that we can pray, that everything will be okay. It's going to be okay. Good things take time. Faith. Faith. If we have faith, he's going to hear our prayers and he's going to answer them. Remember? Yes, no, maybe. Green, yellow, red. You know? Yes, no. Green, red, yellow. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, all right, guys, let's pray. I'm going to let you go. So there's our, our Bible journaling. Nothing fancy. You don't have to be an artist. You can purchase some stickers at the Dollar Tree if you need to. It works. 
by the way, weigh out the stickers on Amazon because sometimes they're cheaper. Yeah, I know. And of course, you know, you can always use your planner kit stickers, everything else. Okay, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. God, thank you so much for sending us Jesus and that Jesus was so wise. Oh, goodness, that he taught us how to pray to you. Wow, Lord, there is so much in the scripture that we talked about today to do justly, love mercy, and then walk humbly with you. And if we walk humbly with you, we, we, we know this prayer that we've been taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We are giving you every bit of credit for being God. You are the one and the only and the true God. There is no other gods but you. Jesus, as we go through our difficult days and our difficult times, help us to cling to you, to cling to your word, to get in a car and step out and just catch our breath if we need to. And I thank you for that yesterday. You already provided a way for me to step out yesterday and just cry and talk and pray and sing and get refueled to come back in. Lord, I love you. And I love that you love us. So humbled by that. And I praise each person hears my voice. That they will seek you and seek your will in their lives. Show us your will, God. Show us your will be done, God. Your will be done. Help us to do justly. Love mercy. Help us to walk with you. Help us to to seek you, to repent and seek your forgiveness and to forgive those who are with us. Thank you for providing for us, for meeting our needs. Help us to be content, as Paul tells us, with what your provision is. Lord, we love you. We praise your name. We bow down before you. We are so humble, humbled, humbled, humbled before you. You are so great. And when I am so weak, you are so strong. Thank you, God. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Okay, friends. Um, I love you guys. You know, I'm praying for you. Keep seeking God every single day, throughout the day. Before your feet hit the floor, pray to God. Before your eyes are closed at night, pray to God. He is sitting there at the end of your bed waiting to have a conversation with you. Middle of the night, he's there. First thing in the morning, he's there. Throughout the day, he's there. <laughs> when you go to sleep at night, he is there. And he is watching over you. As a believer, isn't that beautiful to know that he is singing over us? He's watching over us. He has got his angels all around us. There is so much going on. Let's seek to please him. Okay, friends, I love you guys. Thank you for being patient for this. I'm going to load it immediately and I'll get the rest of my stuff video. All right, guys. Um, pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Okay, guys. And if this encourages you, pass it on to the next person and let's encourage them. Okay. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Love you. Bye-bye.